was a year ago when my wife and I realized that childhood hunger exists not only in third world countries, but right here in our country. It affects one in four children, over 10,000 in Luzerne County alone. As restaurant owners, we came up with a practical solution. When we find out that there are many at-risk children who get no decent daily meal, other than there, there are school-provided lunches, and no decent meal at all when school is out, which is about half the days of the year, we started eight months ago providing 40 children with nutritious and balanced dinners in microwave safe containers, accompanied by fresh food and homemade desserts. Our volunteer drivers deliver six kid approved meals per child per week, year round, at a low production cost of $1.70 per meal, $10 per week, or $5.20 per year per child. Results have been far beyond our expectations. The same teachers and social workers who refer the children report to us that there is major improvement in the children's behavior and learning ability. From letters from the participating families, we have learned that the children do not go to sleep hungry anymore, they feel better and perform better in school. I have gotten to know the families, the grandmothers who receive custody of their younger children, or the poor single mother with multiple children who are struggling with worries of being evicted, having no heat in the winter, and other basic needs. People who have heard about our program are very touched and have been amazingly generous. We have not yet started formal fundraising, and yet we have been succeed succeeded to raise enough funds to feed the 50 children we currently serve for another full year. Your 20,000 grant would allow us to start feeding additional 40 children immediately while giving our board a chance to raise funds during the year that would permit us to continue to grow and feed even more children. We are a volunteer-based program with no paid staff and no facility expenses, so 100% of the funds donated are used to provide meals to needy children. Thank you. Thank you. Are there questions? I have a question. How yes. are the children selected? Uh, children, youth, and teachers. Teachers can identify children that were hungry and then the children and youth have officer or have offices in every school, and then they check and they check the, uh, if they're eligible. And a matter of fact, I have here offices for children and youth, and, and they can tell you later. There was another question over here. I had one. How are the meals prepared, and, and how do you decide what to serve? Okay, uh, we, could, we prepared the meals, we consult with the dietitians from Penn State and CEO. And I also went on the website of uh, the USDA, find the recommendations. So we have meals. I'm going have an example here of a meal here, which has fresh turkey breast and vegetables and sweet potato. So all the, the ingredients, um, the balance of the meal, it's all by recommendations of uh, dietitians. And how it's prepared. We prepare the restaurant. The way we work is we at always make the food and then we have volunteers coming Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and package the food, package the meals in those containers uh, with the fruit also and a dessert and then we have drivers take it to the house. So we provide basically two dinners every day on Monday. We provide dinners for Monday, Tuesday, and so on. So it's six dinners all together. So we... Anything else? Okay, we start just for logistic purposes. We started with Valley West, with area that start from Kingston to Plymouth, and we can expand to other areas if we have more funding. So as we get more funding, we'll expand to other areas. But we just for logistic purposes, for driving purposes, we decide to stay in one area and then move to another area as funding come, comes in. We are gonna, we didn't really do any formal fundraising and what we're gonna do now, we have a very dedicated board and we just, last meeting, we decided to divide to different groups and one group is gonna do uh, grant applications, we get, we're gonna get information about all the grants and we already scanned through the internet and through other sources, NCC and other sources of all the organizations that are geared toward food, food for children or food in general and uh, that's number one, grant applications. We didn't really solicit any corporations, so we prepared a letter now with a brochure, we're gonna send the corporations, 
and then follow up with a phone call and also individuals. We're going to send letters to the homes and, and uh, hopefully we'll get donations from there also. And also a fundraising event. Many organizations will fundraise a new dinner or other fundraising events and we hope to increase our work there. Can you explain a little bit about the delivery system? Does that cost you money? Or no, the, the driver, matter of fact, we have, we have so many volunteers and I want to tell you the volunteers, especially the drivers, they, you know, they, they say sometimes when you give, you get back more than you give and it's so true, the drivers, because you ask any, any of my volunteer drivers, when I, in the beginning, I used to drive myself the next first month and then I got the volunteers and after a month or so, I asked the volunteers, how is it going? They have tears in their eyes and they said, we never knew that such conditions exist in families. And they said the kids run to the car and ask them what, what's for dinner tonight and they hug them. It's like, this is the God. God came to give me food. And it, it just, they, you know, and now when we got, we get phone calls from more drivers and I, I, I'm telling my chief, my Charles, uh, uh, that <coughs> uh, Denchek, he's my, he's, he's wonderful. He's in charge of all the drivers. He does the scheduling. And when I give him more names, he said, don't give him more names because the other drivers get upset that he take that days away from them. They want to drive. And, you know, they, they drive in their own car, they don't ask for gas, for gas money, and everything is for 